Welcome to Tone Forge Menace, the new metal guitar gear solution by Joey Sturge's Tones. The main interface of this plugin is designed with simplicity in mind, giving you the important controls to a great guitar sound in a creative way. The gate knob controls the threshold and overall amount of noise reduction for the internal expander or noise gate. The input knob controls the amount of gain coming into the plugin. The plugin performs best when this value does not reach red on the input meter. The output knob controls the output volume of the entire plugin. Clicking on the question mark provides access to the manual. At the bottom of the interface, a selector menu allows you to access the various modules of this plugin. You can control or command plus click on each thumbnail to disable or enable the module, excluding the amplifier. Disabling the cabinet module also disables all post-processing. Alternatively, you can click on signal path to view the signal flow of the modules, including Joey's magic post-processing. Clicking on the modules here also disables or enables them. The overdrive pedal has three controls. Drive for controlling the amount of drive for the pedal. Tone for controlling the tone shaping applied by the pedal. And gain to control the overall volume of the pedal. The gain control can also be used to virtually overload the amp for additional gain and saturation. On the amplifier, the gain knob controls the amount of gain coming into the module. The bass knob controls the amount of bass frequencies for the amplifier. The mid knob controls the amount of mid frequencies for the amplifier. The treble knob controls the amount of high frequencies for the amplifier. The presence knob controls the amount of higher frequencies for the amplifier. And finally, the master knob controls the total output of the amplifier. This module has a specially designed cab sound created for the Menace Tone module with four different virtual microphones to switch between as different shades of frequency response. The equalizer contains five EQ bands, one low shelf or high pass filter, one high shelf or low pass filter, and three mid-range parametric EQs. The black row of knobs controls the gain of each EQ, while the blue row of knobs controls the Q width of each EQ and the whitish row of knobs controls the frequency of the EQ, ranging from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. The threshold knob of the limiter controls the level at which the limiter will start to limit the signal. This is an automatic gain control limiter and will automatically adjust the makeup gain. The output knob controls the overall output volume of the limiter. The controls have some additional functionality accessed by the following methods. Double click slash right click allows you to manually type in a number value for the control point. Control or Command plus click resets the control value back to its default. Shift clicking gives you finer movement over the controls. Right click allows you to access the automation menu supported by the VST3 format. Clicking on the ToneForge logo will display the About screen, which contains useful information for troubleshooting technical support issues. Now that we've covered the basics, here are some examples of how we can pull up a great sounding metal guitar tone using this plugin. Hope this manual helps you to use the plugin correctly. And remember to check out these other great plugins by Joey Sturgis Tones. Mm -hmm.